Joe Biden is the projected winner of the 2020 presidential election after securing Pennsylvania, according to AP and NBC News. And all I can say is, woohoo! Boy, oh boy, what great news. That is fan, absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is from Twitter. It's what's happening. And man, oh man, just after days of of just waiting for this to waiting for him to clear because you knew at some point Biden was going to clear look at that that's that's Joe perfect perfect that is so nice and White House Biden team comments on possibility of President Trump's refusal to leave White House and Responding reports that President Trump has no plans to concede. Andrew Pates tells Fox, as we said on July 19th, the American people will decide this election. The United States government is perfectly capable of escorting trespassers out of the White House. This is so great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ha, ha, ha. This is awesome. Here is, look at this. Joe Biden will be president-elect of the United States. This is President Trump, true to what we have seen from him since the campaign started for him back in 2015, 2016, defiant even in the face of the reality that this presidential race has slipped out of his fingers. It is out of his grasp. He will fight to try to get it back. He cannot. It appears the writing is on the wall. Joe Biden has the 270 electoral votes he needs. The question now, can the president actually do anything about that if he refuses to concede? Concession is not a legal requirement. There's nothing in the Constitution that says that President Trump needs to deliver a formal speech calling for unity and handing the reins of power over to Joe Biden. That is a tradition. And if there's one thing we know about this president is that he is not been traditional in the past and he has bucked that at every turn i will tell you that there Uh, is a a fair amount of monday morning quarterbacking going on here there is finger pointing now uh, as we have seen for quite a while with the this white house finger pointing well howie hold on a second why don't you just say that president trump is not a gentleman we have had decades we have had a culture of politics Defined by the behavior of ladies and gentlemen. All right? Period. End of story. Why not just say he is not a gentleman, he's not be, he's not behaved like a gentleman, and he will not. But the bottom line is this. Biden got 273 to 214 for Trump. It's over. More on Zenny 62 Subscribe to Zenny 62 on YouTube.